So my presentation is uh, independent monitoring reports about sustainable development goals, human rights, and civic space in Asia and Africa. And um, we are talking about the West African sub-region. This presentation is actually uh, prepared by my executive director, Ambassador Caroline Usipedo, who is the executive director of Noble Data Women for Peace and Development International. But due to uh, some unforeseen circumstances, she couldn't come to present the presentation by herself. And that is why she has uh, delegated me to do the presentation. Claire, I don't know if I'm uh, audible enough. Yes, you're, oh, it is all. It is a recording, so you can do it next. Introduction. West Africa or Western Africa is the westernmost region of Africa. And it's uh, on latitude and longitude 13.5317 degrees centigrade, degree north. Sorry about that. It's on the geographical coordinate is 13.5317 degrees to the north and 2.4604 degrees to the west. And it occupies an area of approximately 8 million square kilometers and with a population of approximately 400 million. The United Nations defines Western Africa as the 17 countries of Benin Republic, Burkina Faso, Cape Verde, the Gambia, Ghana, Guinea, Guinea-Bissau, Ivory Coast, Liberia, Mali, Mauritania, Niger, Nigeria, Senegal, Sierra Leone and Togo. West Africa is one of the world's most vulnerable regions to climate variability and change. Increasing temperatures and shifting rainfall patterns are already affecting livelihoods, food security, and economic and governance stability. about the research. This independent monitoring report about SDG, human rights, and civic space in Asia and Africa seeks to conduct the following. One, to conduct analysis of the data on SDGs, human rights, and civic space in Asia and Africa. Secondly, collection and compilation of relevant information and data then research about the international activities of civil society organizations in the West African sub-region. Keep going. From 2016 to 2021, all 16 countries in West Africa, with the exception of Guinea-Bissau, have done their voluntary national reporting at least once. In 2016, Sierra Leone and Togo did theirs. In 2017, it was the turn of Benin Republic, Nigeria, and Togo. In 2018, it was Benin, Cape Guinea, Mali, Niger, Senegal, and Togo. In 2019, Côte d'Ivoire, Mauritania, Burkina Faso, Ghana, Sierra Leone. In 2020, the Benin Republic, Gambia, Liberia, Niger, and Nigeria. And in 2021, Cape Niger, and Sierra Leone. That shows that uh, Sierra Leone has done it three times. Togo has done it three times 
in 2016, 2017, and 2018. Benin Republic did it thrice, 2017, 2018, and 2020. Niger did it thrice, 2018, 2020, and 2021. Then Nigeria and Cape Verde did it twice. Why Nigeria did it in 2017 and 2020, Cape Verde did in 2018 and 2021. And the following countries of Guinea, Mali, Senegal, Cote d'Ivoire, Mauritania, Burkina Faso, Ghana, the Gambia, and Liberia all did it once. Assessment of the Assessment of the Sustainable Development Solutions Network SDG Index from 2016 to 2021. The symbol, um, from this symbol, the green represents goal achievements. Yellow represents um, situations where there are, there is uh, some progress but with challenges remaining. Orange shows significant challenges. Red shows major challenges, while the gray shows unavailable information. Then the arrow, the arrow pointing up shows achievement is being maintained steadily. Then when it is slanting, it shows a moderate increase or a moderate achievement. When it is flat, it shows a stagnating trend. Then when the arrow face down, it shows a decrease in the trend. And so uh, the assessment of the Sustainable Development Solution Network, the graph is uh, as shown below. So for the Sustainable Development Goals, it is clearly stated from uh, goal one to goal 17. Now, the first one, Benin Republic, you can see the coloration there is red coloration showing there is still major challenges in Go One that talks about ending of poverty. There is major, there are still major challenges in Go Two, talking about ending hunger. There are major challenges in Go. Three, which talks about healthy living and so on. It's only on um, goal 12. Goal 12 and uh, goal 13 shows significant improvement, while uh, goal 15 shows that there is still some major challenges as it concerns uh, terrestrial ecosystem. Then the same thing goes with the second Burkina Faso, the Verde, Cote d'Ivoire, the Gambia, Ghana, Guinea, Guinea-Bissau, Liberia, Mali, Mauritania, Niger Republic, Nigeria, Senegal, Sierra Leone, and Togo. Of note is that in all West African countries, the SDG index is still at a very low help. The advancement in all the SDG is still at a very low help, with the exception of sustainable consumption and production, uh, with the exception of climate change and its implications. That is uh, perhaps where the African, the West African sub-region has uh, been at the lead in uh, combating, combating the climate change and its uh, implication. Now, assessment of the national mechanism on the SDG table. Just to portray the earlier uh, explanation I did, go on, there are major challenges in 13 countries with the trend stagnating and decreasing in Mauritania, Nigeria, and Senegal, Gambia, Ghana, Cape Gambia, Ghana, and Cape Verde have significant challenges also. But goals two to 11, 
There are major challenges in all 16 West African countries, with the trend moderately increasing in some. On goal eight, which is about economic growth, there is significant challenge in Burkina Faso, the Gambia, Ghana, Guinea, and Guinea-Bissau. Then for goal 10, which is about reduction of inequality among countries, there is still significant challenge in Burkina Faso, Gambia, Liberia, Mali, Mauritania, Niger, and Guinea. And not trend information for goal 10 in all countries. All countries in West Africa, assessment of the national mechanism on SDG. All countries in West Africa have national implementation policy and clear roadmap for localizing the sustainable development goals. Goals 16 top the ranking for sustainable development goals in almost all countries in West Africa, except Burkina Faso, Niger, Sierra Leone, and Togo. For goal 13, all 16 countries are on track, as I earlier uh, explained. For goal 12, Benin Republic, Cote d'Ivoire, Ghana, Nigeria, Senegal, Sierra Leone, Togo, and Liberia are on track, but no trend information available. Burkina Faso, Gambia, Guinea, Mali, Mauritania, and Niger still have significant challenges. Kibbeh has significant challenges, while for Guinea-Bissau, there is no available information. The National Mechanism on the Sustainable Development Goals. The table below gives uh, The table below gives an overview of the uh, National Mechanism on Sustainable Development Goals 2015, 2016, and 2018. Each of the countries have different years that the Sustainable Development Goals were adopted, the number of goals that were adopted, the targets, as well as the indicators. In 2015, Benin Republic, Burkina Faso, Kibbeh, the Gambia, the Ghana, and Guinea, they had SDGs adopted. In 2016, Togolese Republic, Cote d'Ivoire, Liberia, Mauritania, Niger Republic, Nigeria, Senegal, and Sierra Leone also had the SDGs mechanism adopted. While in 2018, Mali had its uh, Sustainable Development Goals mechanism adopted. On the assessment of the state and trends of gender equality, or SDG 5, SDG 5 is moderately improving. In eight countries in West Africa, these are the Burkina Faso, Liberia, Cote d'Ivoire, Guinea-Bissau, Mali, Senegal, the Gambia, and Ghana. But for Benin Republic, Guinea, Mauritania, Niger, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, and Togo, there is still significant gender equality and women empowerment. There is still significant challenges in terms of gender equality and women empowerment. That is why the uh, graph shows that it is still stagnating. While in Quebec, the situation is even decreasing. Female to male labor force participation rates is on track in 13 countries, but stagnating in Quebec and moderately improving in Mauritania and Senegal. The ratio of male to female years of education received. Quebec, the Gambia and Ghana are on track. Liberia, Mauritania, and Nigeria are moderately improving. Cote d'Ivoire, Mali, Sierra Leone, 
and Togo are stagnating. Why Benin Republic, Burkina Faso, Guinea, Niger, and Senegal is decreasing? Demand for family planning satisfied by modern methods. Burkina Faso, Cote d'Ivoire, Gambia, Ghana, Guinea Bissau, Liberia, Mali, and Senegal are all moderately improving. Then the Republic, Guinea, Mauritania, Niger, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, and Togo are stagnating. That is, the demand for family planning satisfied by modern methods is still at a very low ebb in this country. Why Kedved is even worsening or decreasing? Women in decision making or seats held by women in national parliaments. Mali and Senegal are on track. Burkina Faso, Benin Republic, Cote d'Ivoire, Ghana, Guinea Bissau, Liberia, Niger, and Togo are stagnating. In Gambia, Cape Verde, Guinea, Mauritania, Nigeria, and Sierra Leone are decreasing, and the number of women in decision making or seats held by women in national parliaments. Assessment of the state and trends of the inequality or sustainable development goals then, that is reduction of inequality among countries. For the reduction of inequality among countries, that is goal 10 of the SDG, the overall assessment is low. Major challenges remain in Benin Republic, Burkina Faso, Kivet, Cote d'Ivoire, Gambia, Ghana, Guinea, Guinea Bissau, Nigeria, Senegal, and Togo. Though there is some improvement in Liberia and Mali, there are still some significant challenges, as well as Mauritania, Niger, and Sierra Leone. Assessment of the state and trends of the peace and justice inclusion, sustainable development goal 16. Kivet and Gambia are on track. Benin Republic, Guinea Bissau, and Senegal are moderately improving. Cote d'Ivoire, Ghana, Guinea, Liberia, Mali, Mauritania, Niger, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, and Togo are stagnating. Homicides. Benin Republic, Burkina Faso, Kivet, Guinea Bissau are on track, while Ghana is stagnating. There is no available information in Cote d'Ivoire, Gambia, Guinea, Liberia, Mali, Mauritania, Niger, Nigeria, Senegal, Sierra Leone, and Togo as it concerns homicides. On sentence detainees, Cote d'Ivoire, Ghana, Guinea Bissau, Liberia, and Sierra Leone are on track. Burkina Faso is moderately improving. Nigeria is stagnating. White Togo is decreasing in achievement. There is no available information on Kivet, Gambia, Benin Republic, Guinea, Mali, Mauritania, Niger, Senegal, and Togo. Population of those who feel safe walking alone at night in the city area where they live. 
Benin Republic is on track. That is, there's relative security and people feel safe to walk alone at night. Guinea and Mauritania are moderately improving in security. Burkina Faso has neither shown any improvement nor shown a deterioration in this situation. Cape Verde and Guinea Bissau, there is no available information on safety at night in these countries. Why Cote d'Ivoire, the Gambia, Ghana, Liberia, Mali, Mauritania, Niger, Nigeria, Senegal, Sierra Leone, and Togo have the worsening situation and that is to term it decreasing. The population of those who feel safe walking alone at night in these countries. Property rights. Five countries of the Republic, Ivet, Cote d'Ivoire, the Gambia, and Senegal are on track. Mauritania is neither showing improvement nor showing retrogression. Why Ghana? Guinea, Mali, and Nigeria are showing worsening situation as it concerns peace, justice, and inclusion. For the rest countries, there is no available information. Corruption perception index. Ivet is on track. Benin Republic is moderately improving. There is stagnation in Burkina Faso, Cote d'Ivoire, Gambia, Guinea, Guinea Bissau, Senegal, and Sierra Leone. Why the situation is decreasing in Liberia, Mali, Mauritania, Niger, Nigeria, Togo, and Ghana. Press Freedom Index. Burkina Faso, Ivet, Cote d'Ivoire, the Gambia, Ghana, Mali, Niger, Senegal, and Togo are on track. Why the situation is worsening in Benin Republic, Guinea Bissau, Liberia, Mauritania, and Sierra Leone? Why the situation is stagnating in Guinea and Nigeria? Access to an affordability, access to an affordability of justice. Ghana, Liberia, Nigeria, and Senegal are on track. The situation is decreasing in Burkina Faso, Cote d'Ivoire, and Sierra Leone. Why there is no available information for the remaining nine countries? Universal Periodic Review Recommendation and links to the Sustainable de Development Goals. Keep going. So the table shows um, the Universal Periodic Review for uh, Burkina Faso, for Benin Republic, for Burkina Faso, for Cape Verde, uh, Cote d'Ivoire, the Gambia, Ghana, Guinea, Guinea-Bissau, Liberia, Mali, Mauritania, Niger, Nigeria, Senegal, and Sierra Leone. Um, let me go to the explanation. Now, a majority of recommendations address equality, as the five and ten, and peace, justice, and accountable is institutions, that is, as the 16. 13 out of the 16 countries has a very high percentage of its recommendations accepted. Uh, like Benin Republic has 96%, uh, Burkina Faso 90%, Kivet 90%, Cote d'Ivoire, 
89.9%. It's only Mauritania that came uh, a little uh, below at 75.5%. Niger, Sierra Leone, and Togo has no information. 12 of the countries have good scores on SDG 16. Why Burkina Faso has go five as its top one SDG? State of COVID-19 pandemic in West Africa. West Africa with a population of 367 million or approximately 400 million people had confirmed 412,178 cases of COVID-19 with 5,363 deaths as of March, 14th March, 2021. On vaccination, the percentage of people who are vaccinated still stands at average of 1%, which is not encouraging. A lot of work still has to be done. Access to the vaccine for the poor and vulnerable still remains an issue in the sub-region. That also partly uh, accounts for why the uh, vaccination and the population vaccinated is still at the low end. The average number of cases per million in West Africa is 6,467 as of 2nd October 2021. Why the average number of deaths per million in West Africa is 84 as of 2nd October 2021. The impact of COVID-19 on democracy and human rights. Prior to the COVID-19 pandemic, the Sub-Saharan Africa was faring badly in its democratic credentials. And this is even worsened with the uh, COVID-19 pandemic. The COVID-19 pandemic has triggered a number of exceptional legal and constitutional responses from governments around the world as they seek extraordinary measures to manage the pandemic threats. Countries in West Africa have diverse switching types, then a Republic, Guinea, Cote d'Ivoire, Niger, Mali, and Togo have hybrid regime, Burkina Faso, Gambia, Ghana, Guinea-Bissau, Liberia, Nigeria, and Senegal as weak to low-performing regimes. Cape Verde, Sierra Leone both have mid-ranging performing regimes. While Mauritania experiences an authoritarian regime. Burkina Faso and Mali were the new entrants to the unsavory ranks of authoritarian regimes. Assessment of the state's trends and challenges of democracy. Between the year 2016 to 2020, Evert has maintained the top rank on Global Democracy Index ranking. Between 23 over 17 to 32 over 17 in 2020. Guinea-Bissau is the lowest ranked in West Africa. No country in West Africa has a full democracy. Ivet and Ghana are the closest democracy to a full democracy in West Africa. They are considered countries with flawed democracy. Bene is one of the countries that recorded the biggest drop in their scores. With a score of 5.09, the country moves from the 84 first world place to the 97th and 16th in Africa. This is mainly due to the 2019 legislative elections without opposition participation, which led to violence and a rare occurrence in this West African country. 
Another West African country, Senegal, has fallen nine places and is now ranked 82nd in the world and ninth in Africa, moving it down from the category of flawed democracy to that of hybrid democracies. Other countries, except Mauritania and Togo, which are authoritarian democracies, are considered hybrid democracies. Assessment of the state's trends and challenges of the civic space. The civic space in Benin Republic, Cote d'Ivoire, Guinea, Mauritania, Mauritania, Niger, Nigeria, and Togo are repressed. In Burkina Faso, the Gambia, Guinea Bissau, Liberia, Senegal, and Sierra Leone, the civic space is obstructed. In Ghana, the civic space is narrowed. Why in Cape Verde, the civic space is open? According to the World Press Freedom Index of 2020, Cape Verde, Ghana, and Burkina Faso ranks highest among the 16 countries in West Africa, ranking 25, 30, and 38 respectively. Globally, they have recorded no attacks on journalists and has exceptional media freedom, which is guaranteed by the country's constitution. These countries are therefore considered fairly good. Ranking lowest in the sub-region is Nigeria, ranking 120, closely followed by Benin, globally. Media in Benin and Nigeria, globally, media. Nigeria is now considered one of Africa's most dangerous countries. For journalists, three deaths have been recorded. Gambia has experienced improvement for freedom of expression, ranking 145 in 2016. They have moved up to 87 on global ranking in 2020. Media freedom has declined dramatically in Mauritania from 48 in 2016 to 97 in 2020, sadly. Civil Society Organizations International Engagement on SDG. 15. Are you okay? Out of 16 countries in West Africa, I've given at least one, with at least once. Only Guinea Bissau has not given a voluntary national report, but has indicated interest to do so in 2022. Civil society organizations in West African countries attended the Global People's Assembly in September 2021, where they declared resistance to refuse to be left behind a COVID-19 wake-up call. Recommendations on SDG. Establishing as many as possible a knowledge of and coordination platform to provide best practices, alternatives, as well as cooperation opportunities for the local government. Providing a wide range of training and capacity improvement that match with the local context and SDG issues in each city. Channeling local government to the private sectors philanthropic foundations or global donors to provide a financial alternative that will be sustaining the achieving SDG target effort. Development of voluntary local review, voluntary sub-national review, and voluntary sub-national review. Importantly, facilitate the engagement of voluntary national review processes. Develop policies and local initiatives to mitigate COVID-19 impact. 
foster knowledge exchange. Solidarity and donations among LGAs, documentation and promotion of smart practices of LGAs in handling and recovering from COVID-19. Fostering opportunities in tapping alternative financing, matchmaking virtual events at national and international level, and promoting multi-stakeholder partnerships. Advocacy and policy based on new findings and research. Recommendation on democracy and civic space. Recognize that human rights are universal and indivisible. They underpin any development agenda and are central to the world's most pressing issues, including peace and security, ending gender equalities and creating a healthy environment for future gener generations. COVID-19 should not be used as a cover to attack human rights and constitutional liberties or to restrict the civic space. Speeches should not be criminalized under the guise of preventing the dissemination of fake news, or the internet and social media blocked to prevent the dissemination of critical information. There should be a strengthening mechanism for civil society participation in multilateral bodies and institutions of global governance. Transparent, accountable, and inclusive governance should be ensured. Transparent, accountable, and inclusive governance of the digital sphere should be ensured. And a commitment to human rights conventions in digital era to ensure progressive rights, first digital usage, rights, first digital usage. Low and middle income, middle income countries must have the right to determine their own trade and investment policies, putting people's interests first. However, most trade rules are neither fair nor free. International trade rules and national trade policies, policies should therefore support sustainable livelihoods, promote the rights of women, children, and indigenous people, leads to poverty eradication and reduction in inequalities. Lower tax revenues and currency depreciation, coupled with higher expenditures to fight COVID-19 and address natural disasters and social economic emergencies have led to a sharp increase in impoverished country debt. A portion of this debt is with multilateral institutions such as the International Monetary Fund, the World Bank, and multilateral development banks by countries like China or the Paris Clubs, 22 members, while a significant part is owed to private sector lenders through the issuance of bonds.